What's up, everybody? Jason here with jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. Our second new release today is 2020 Panini, uh, Panini Elite Donners Football. Six box half case break. Random teams number one is what sold out. This actually is one of the first products that you'll see uh, the new draft class in their NFL uniforms and professional uniforms for the first time. So that should be pretty fun, guys. Box breakdown is two autographs, one pen pal autograph, one memorabilia card, three rookies, six parallels, eight inserts. So for a total, I believe, of 20, uh, five cards per pack, 20 packs per box. So there you go. And uh, just remember, no veteran commons will ship. Only all these right here will ship. The inserts, parallels, rookies, relics, and autographs. And this is an early bird break, guys. So buy one of the first 20 spots in this break and get entry to win a free spot. So here's the dice roller. Here's the early bird customers that made the list. Here's the customers all in. And here's all the teams. So let's use the same dice roll for this. Let's roll it. And it's a three to two for five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom. Five times. Daniel S. Congratulations. You just got, you are part of the early bird and just want a free spot. So there you go. Let's put you in there. And that was five times, right? Yeah. Now let's go five times here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, five times. John, Donna Thomas, five, five, five times here. One, two, three, four, and five. Broncos down to the Cowboys. John with the Broncos, John with the Raiders, Jordan with the Patriots, Seth Kia, Seth Kia sorry, with the um, 49ers, Chris, you have the Bills, Daniel with the Texans, Peter with the Vikings, Cole with the Chiefs, Angel with the Bears, Chris, you have the Steelers, last spot mojo, Joseph with the Saints, Chris with the Jets, Nick with the Packers, Christopher with the Eagles, Chris, you have the Seahawks, John with the Colts, Chris, you have the Bengals, there you go, uh, Matthew with the Dolphins, Justin with the Giants, Nick with the Bucks, Donald with the Browns, Raymond with the Lions, Derek with the Rams, Chris with the Titans, Cole with the Falcons, Christopher with the uh, Chargers, Justin with the Redskins, Christopher with the Cardinals, Daniel, your free spots, the Panthers, Fouled with the Jaguars, Chris, you have the Ravens, and Thomas with the Dallas Cowboys. So there you go. Anybody want to trade? Let me know. If not, we will start the break. Time. Let me just open up this case. Where we can decide which half we're going to use in this break. And our second half random teams is already on the website. I think we're down like to the low twenties, so we can break that still today, and that'll be with Joe or Sean later tonight. Raiders for Ravens, TJ suggesting. Chris saying tying Steelers up. Seahawks up and Chris is agreeing to the trade. So Thomas and Chris confirm right. Ravens for Raiders. And we do got one trade. Okay, cool. Well, since it's just you two guys, let's just close the trade window. So we'll just get that rolling. 
so uh, Ravens or the Raiders. There you go, Thomas. Actually, let's not use the plus sign. Let's use uh, what sign can we use? There you go. That's a trade sign right there. So there you go, trade window closing, guys. And six boxes to the left, six boxes to the right. Just like a museum collection, let's choose. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six to the right. Let's hopefully get a good dice roll. All right, well, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me quickly just write down here to be 2RT right, 2RT on this so that'll be for the second random teams Callies, yes, man. Uh, that one probably won't be starting for about another hour, uh, but I do have it on the spreadsheet. I believe I put it at two twelve fifty, so in about an hour. Because after this, we got to do museum collection random teams number one, and then picker teams number two will be after that. So in about an hour. So get some good work done, and then I'll see you in about an hour. Pretty much 20 packs, five cards per pack for a total of 100 cards per box. And again, there's like three rookies per box, eight parallels, like six inserts, and then two autos. One is going to be a pen pal and one relic. So three hits at least. Like I said, you'll see the rookies in their new. NFL uniform here for the first time, so that's always going to be a product that people will always go back to when they say, hey, when was Joe Burrow's first product he started signing with the Bengals jersey on? He's like, oh, it was elite.
Oh, they're actually putting a little Super Bowl kid reporter. That's not gonna happen this year. <laughs> Maybe they'll have to interview a kid from far off. Um, not sure, Nancy. If it's not on the website, maybe Nick canceled it. And if he did, then I'm sure he issued refunds. So, that probably is what happened. If it's not on the web, yeah, I don't see it either. Yeah, so probably, I think Nick might have canceled it if we didn't finish up that number eight last night. Yeah, check it out. But I'm sure if uh, he might have just taken it off and I didn't even notice. Oh, wait. Legacy broke last night. Both of them? Number seven and eight? Oh, well, there you go, Nancy. If it broke last night, then we're good. Wester, uh, what was my favorite 19 hobby box? It's a tough one, man. I love Select, but I also do love Prism. I'd say it's one of those two. But then again, I want to say Contenders Optic. <laughs> but then I want to say Contenders. I don't know any of those four. Let me see. I mean, I know Sean did a luminance last night. I don't know if it was number seven or eight, though. But if he did break it and for some reason it just didn't upload, I can take a look at it after this, Nancy, and upload it. But I want to say that it did break last night at some point. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. It's right here. Was it luminance number eight what you were looking for? Or number seven. Yeah, number eight's right there. And then where's seven? There it is. Yeah, they're both right there, Nancy, actually. So it didn't have to get refunded. There you go. There's seven and eight. No worries. All right, let's take a look at this, guys. First three boxes. So Elite Company, little Chase Young. I don't know, uh, I think this might be a randomizer here. I'm assuming. It says, why well, would have, oh, are these all like Ohio State's players? So we'll take a look at this, and if these are randomized, then if anything, what we'll do is we'll go like first, second, third, or fourth. They're gonna have a bunch of these, so we'll put these to the side and give those out. And if there is multiples, then we can always just give one to each, each team. There is any. Adam Troutman. There you go. Saints. Jordan Love to 399. That's a nice one. Green Bay Packers. Sure am. And already, right off the bat, look at that. Turn of the century, my boy Justin Herbert. <laughs> 53 out of 99. Who has the Chargers? Already hitting. It's okay. meant to be. Christopher with the Chargers.
Ricky Rollis. That'll be shipping there. DJ Dallas for Seattle. Josh Allen. Craftsman Relic for the Bills. Going to Chris. And star status, Bobby Wagner to 349. It's a cool little insert. All right, I dig it. Gallimore. Cowboys. And we got Tua. This is a cool little insert. Miami Dolphins. Derek Brown for the Panthers. Uh, well, hey, Wester, you know what? We have some. We actually have, I think, most of those as personal boxes on jaspies.com. I don't know if you're interested in doing personal boxes, but we have those available like that. And at a 349, 349, Malcolm Butler, full throttle. And wow. What a Chargers box. Justin Herbert and Joshua Kelly pen pals. Damn. Two Herbert autographs. This time it's a pen pal and it's an on-card autograph with Josh Kelly. I would be hitting these Herberts. Man, I just can't have them though. Moving into a new place, rents can be pretty expensive now <laughs> compared to what it used to be. Chase Young, Michael Vick, KJ Hamler. That's a cool little one right there. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Little Lamar Jackson. So we're debating Ron or Jordan on the Status. Christian McCaffrey, Spellbell. <laughs> Little dyke at AJ Brown. <laughs> Bengals. Cam Akers. Oh, and this is the random team. Pick your team is not sold out yet. We have to sell out that little pack break. Dalton King. Christian Fulton. Steve Largent. That's in the torch. I told Nick, you gotta have a king player, Gretzky, because if not, they're gonna say you're in the backyard and don't have no kings. Dodgers. Tua. Gabriel Davis. Andre Johnson. Yeah, I could tell you who you have really quick. Um, 
You have the Kansas City Chiefs, it looks like, and the Atlanta Falcons. Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, Brian Edwards to 49. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey. And Drew Brees. Field vision. Van Jefferson. Man, we're just getting a bunch of charges in this break. Red Ink. Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I said you should have Gretzky because there's so many Kings players living around here. No, I don't think so. J.K. Dobbins. I thought it was just going to be Jordan or LeBron, Kobe, Serena, Fernando, and Dickerson or something like that. Yeah, but there were six people. Oh. Herbert. This is actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll buy one of these ones. <laughs> CD Lamb. Josh Jacobs. Let's see, do Bo Jackson. Ooh, Jalen Hurts to 125 for my Eagles. Eagles going to Christopher Freeze. See, yeah, there's a bunch of these ones. So oh, yeah, just... I know who the other one was. Uh, it was Tony Hawk, right? Oh, yeah, I think we brought him up too. Nick Bosa. Um, they are. The only ones that they're going to be in, though, is going to be the pen pals. Is where they'll be in their pro uniform. Fully. For the most part. The sticker autographs are probably most likely going to be in their college, but have logos on them. But the pen pals, for sure, should have their uniform on them. And I think it's just a little different this year from last year since obviously they had, you know, rookie premieres where they're able to take more action photos. Rather than this year, obviously they canceled it. So I think Pen Pals is what you're going to look for for the full pro uniform wise. E. Higgins. Pen pals for the Bengals. Chris with that one. Ooh, Tom Brady. I'm not sure, Tyler. Uh, the checklist is out, though. If you want to check it out, Carver Connection or Group Break Checklist. I want to say if he is, it's probably going to be a sticker. I, I know we hit some on-card autographs of his before he passed away, but I don't know which would have been his last product he signed on-card with. So if there is, I'm sure they might be just stickers. Brady to 349. Troy Polamalu, insert. Akeem, Bengals. Yeah, that's what we want. Wentz. 
Little Joe Burrow. That's not bad. A little bit better. Chris, we'll get there. Sweet. All right, three down, three to go. So far though, pretty good names in the first three boxes. Yeah, they probably probably didn't put them in there. Yeah, this actually looks pretty solid. The base cards look really nice too. So again, guys, we have these for personal boxes later tonight. With me on Instagram in a couple hours, like around three o'clock, so we can do some personals of these. I think they're on jazbees.com. And so are museum collection baseball boxes too. Uh, well, Tyler, sometimes it's a pretty expensive case break, and we feel like sometimes it's easier for someone to split it up, because, again, at the end of the day, Tyler, if you really want a full case break, all you got to do is buy the teams in both, and you're going to secure your full cases, but I think uh, sometimes it gets a little pricey, and we feel that maybe some customers rather have a half case break and take a chance out of half, and maybe buy multiple teams for a lower price than having to fully commit to the full spot but again if you're one of those people that love full case breaks all you got to do is just grab both teams and one and two three four five six however they're linked but some people rather just spend half the money than the full spot and take that chance so that's why we do it that way sometimes we don't always do half case breaks but as of lately just because you know museum collection and this stuff happen to be a little pricey box you know sometimes it's just easier to split it up that way you know what I mean but like I said, not everybody has has the same size wallets, so you know I'd probably stick to half half case breaks too, to be honest. That's true, Pat. But at the same time, if we did full case breaks, the team might not even be there at all. You know what I mean? So that's all it is. The team you may want may have already been taken at the time too. You know. Especially their popular teams. So, that's like the Bengals. I don't think anybody bought the Bengals in number one, right? Um, so I think we had to put the Bengals in a in a team random today. So, I think people should hop on that team random because actually I think it has the Dolphins and it has the Bengals when it comes to elite. So even better. If we're talking elite. No, 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 I know what you mean, Pat. I mean it's true. Sometimes the second half might not be there. <laughs> So obviously that's the risk you're gonna take, but it also could be that the Bengals may not even be available at all or whatever team you're looking for, even in a full case break. But yeah, I think it's just easier to sell half case breaks much quicker and people will commit to paying half the price, that's all. But if they are available, that's why I always suggest to tell people if, if, if the both teams are available, number one and two, and you wanna secure hits potentially for a full case, grab them. Of course, if they're not there, then obviously that's the risk you're gonna have to take and get them in a half case for sure yeah I don't know what it is sometimes Pat I think honestly I think a lot of us are superstitious 
I think what it is is like their favorite number is number two, so they rather just get the number two uh, team rather than number one. I really think it's something like that. Or, you know, they just they said screw it, I'm gonna grab two teams in number two, and none in number one. You know, I don't I don't know. It's just something like that. <laughs> you know, I re I really think it is that. Like when I look at picker teams, like when I bought into a couple of NT picker teams at other places. I bought into Pikachu Team's number six because I was like, all right, all right, F it. Like, sure. Number six is my favorite number. I feel good mojo in this. Let me buy the Eagles at number six, even though they're available at number one and two. Um, That's what I did. <laughs> but I bought them in a full case, not a half case. So I was still securing them, but I was just, I was just shopping around numbers. Nice. Well, good luck, Tyler. Yeah, I mean, the, what, what also is too is maybe they wanted to grab two teams at number one, but, um, you know, let's say the Bengals are taking number one, and they wanted the Bengals and, like, the Eagles, so they're like, all right, screw it, the Bengals are available at number two, so let me grab the Eagles at number two and the Bengals, so that way they, they stay in the same break, and I feel like that's another strategy, too. They just want the teams they're going to buy to stay in the same break. Sometimes it goes that way. I don't know. For me, this is all about superstitious, being superstitious, obviously getting lucky. But again, studying the checklist, guys, there's, there's strategy to case breaking too. It's not just, it's not just uh, obviously just all fully luck. And obviously trying to invest, if you're trying to do this for some type of investment to flip in the future, then obviously invest into players that have good potential. But then at the end of the day, we don't even know, right? They could have all the potential in the world, but they never make it. Jared Goff. No, it, it does hurt. It, it really does. I, I get that, though. It's like it's 50-50. Or sometimes both of you guys hit. But it is it is a definitely a risk. For sure. Matt Stafford. Ryan Tannehill. Do they have Mariota and Raiders here already? Can't wait to see Mariota take over for the Raiders. Eon Branch, who killed us in the Super Bowl. Christian McCaffrey to 75. A lot of Tom Brady inserts. There's some with the Patriots and some with the Bucks as well. And Antonio Gandy Golden. The pen pals. Gilmore or Gallimore? Herbert, seven ninety nine. Gabriel Davis, what is this, like a one-on-one -on -one or something? Is this even a number? I don't see no number, but it looks pretty cool. Christian McCaffrey, Field Vision. Little Russell Wilson die cut. Number to 97. Nate Stanley to 99. Gabriel Davis. Phil Montana Playmakers. Michael Thomas, Tua Tagovailoa, to seven ninety nine. Miami, going to Matthew. Another Herbert this time at three ninety nine. Antonio Gibson, 
rookie autograph for the Redskins. Going to Justin. I think this one has an extra rip, like extra hit or something. Full throttle, Saquon Barkley. And a Tua Tagovailoa. You got. You just gotta be. You gotta be snakes, guys. Honestly, Lamar Jackson. Look at that double patch to twenty-five. It's like you know. Honestly, guys, some people really stock our website. They really do. They're up early in the morning to make sure that when or they kind of already timed when Nick posts up these picker teams, so that way when they see them posted, they just snag them. But again, not all of us have the time to come look and see what's available. It does make it a little tough, but and you just have to know that you're not the only one that wants them, you know? T. Higgins. Henry Ruggs, how about that? Green ink. And I think by the color of the pen pal, it tells you how rare it is, I think. Where's Aratus? Chris, trade mojo, getting a Henry Ruggs. Him the Raiders. So actually, Lamar Jackson relic, Henry Ruggs auto. So so far one hit each. Danny Amendola, John Hightower to seven ninety nine. Xavier McKinney for the Giants. Evan Ingram to 99. Kyler Murray. Josh Allen. Carson Wentz. Bryce Perkins. Kenny Galladay. And Impact Impressions. Kenny Moore. 149 for the Colts. Spellbound. Oklahoma Suitors. CD Lambs going to the Cowboys. Die cut Jamal Adams to 24. 24 to 24 for the Jets. Alrighty, guys. Last box. Good luck. Second half random teams this is in the store, guys. 25. Two a tug below for the Miami Dolphins. And we got Tyler Boyd to 49. Davis for the Bengals. Sam Darnold. And James Morgan for the Jets. Turn of the century. It's 49. Jets going to Chris. There you go, man. You got your Jets hit. McCaffrey. Spellbound. Numbered. Tyreek Playmakers. We should have at least one more autograph, and it's going to be a pen pal, guys. It's 99. Minka Fitzpatrick. A little patch there, 49 for the Steelers. Another one for Chris. Last spot mojo. Steelers hit right there. Jerry Judy. Jonathan Taylor, to seven ninety nine. Got AJ Terrell to three ninety nine.
Michael Thomas to 99. And it's Michael Pittman Jr. pen pal autograph for the Colts. John Paul. Oh, is that right, Pat? Yeah, nice. I knew the green was kind of more limited. Is that 10 copies per checklist? Nice. So yeah, that's an out of 10 then. I remember they said that the color of the ink usually identifies what kind of a, how short print it really is. Nate Stanley. Derwin James. Very nice. Alrighty guys, well there you go. So we did get some nice stuff. This is actually just there's a relic. These are numbers for James Morgan Auto. We got Kenny Moore. So this should be out of ten a Henry Ruggs or short print it to ten. We got Antonio Gandy Golden, T. Higgins. A dual autograph, dual pen pals of Joshua Kelly, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts to 125. You got more uh, for the Chargers. Oh, this is actually for the Rams, sorry. Van Jefferson. I always get confused. That looks like Chargers to me. Passing the torch, Steve Largent, Justin Herbert's 99, and Michael Pittman. And there's probably another couple autos in here in Relics in this stack here. A lot of stuff, guys, that'll be uh, paint sleeve to top load. These are all the inserts and stuff that'll ship. So there was these cards here. I want to just look on the checklist really quick if it does show all four teams because I'm assuming that we're just going to have to four-way it. So we'll do it like this from the front. Uh, one, two, three, or four. And then whatever it lands on is what team it's going to go to. So if it goes Jerry Judy, that'll go to the Broncos. If it goes Julio Jones, that'll go to the Falcons, Jets, to the Browns. So I'm assuming that's what the checklist shows. So we'll do it for all of these right here. And there was a couple of them the same. But either way, they got to be randomized. So let's quickly randomize and see who gets what for that. So let's actually just pull a Carbo connection to double check. Red ink? I don't think we got a red. So it was like the red ink, like this Van Jefferson, or just just something else? It just looks red. Because we got a red ink in there. Where's football? Oh, here it is right. So yeah, so Elite Company. How many different ones do we have? All right, we're just gonna go by the player. So number one, starting with Chase Young, to the second player, third player, fourth player on the front. I'll just put front too, just so that way people know what we're doing. A little extra hit for somebody. Uh, six and four, 10 times. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so ten times, yes. Fourth player on the front. So I'll go to the last player right here, which in this one will be Paul Warfield, and that'll be for the Miami Dolphins. And there you go, guys. Appreciate Elite Random Teams Football, number one, sold out in the books. Number two is on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com.